While many telcos are easing their way into cloud-native processes and practices, BT has been up to its elbows in cloud-oriented operations for years, courtesy initially of its BT Sport launch almost a decade ago. To find out what the UK operator has gained from this experience, I'm talking today with Neil McRae, Managing Director, Architecture and Technology Strategy and Chief Architect at BT. Neil, great to see you again. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. So cloud native is nothing new for BT. What has the company learned from its BT Sport experience? Yeah, sure. I mean, we've learned a lot. I think um, the first thing is is that we are glad that we started somewhere with low risk. So BT Sport was brand new. We didn't have any customers to initially worry about. Of course, we had lots of content that we'd, we'd invested a lot in, Bar Barclays Premier League, Mo GP, et cetera, et cetera. So we needed a platform that was scalable, reliable, and really key to us was flexibility. We didn't know how many customers we were going to have. We didn't know how many would watch linear versus streaming. Um, we had very little information, everything was new. So having a, a really flexible platform was something that was we thought was going to be crucially important. And hence, we went down the, the cloud native route. Uh, Agile, CICD, DevOps, all the things that we hear a lot about in the industry right now, You know, we were kind of rolling this out over five, six, seven years ago now, I think. Um, and it worked really well for us. Um, sport is a very dynamic industry. Uh, every day there's a new sports, in fact, every minute there's a new sports headline, let alone every day. And we needed a platform that we could push changes to, updates, new content, new different ways of delivering content, um, special offers, pay-per-view, Lots of different things we need on the platform, and and going cloud native really made that a uh, made that a much easier journey, and and gave us, I mean, gave us an award winning platform. We we won many awards for BT Sport. We were the first to do 4K. We were the first to do HDR. Um, lots of big wins for us. We've done 3D with with YouTube, um, and without the cloud native platform, that would have been very very difficult, and it allowed us to get the the shape of what we need in the other parts of our network where it's going to be probably a lot harder for us to migrate from the current way we think about things to, to the future way that we need to do things. How has that helped with the introduction of a 5G standalone core platform? Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's helped a lot. Um, I think what we found very early on was our own teams in that the, are used to building you know, a, a mobile core platform, you know, had to do a lot of learning, both from the point of view of the technology, but but actually more importantly, from the point of view of operations. And, and you know, we set up a, a specific team um, to learn um, from what we've done in BT Sport, adapt it to what we need in, in mobile core, because they're, they're very different things. Um, but it allowed us to, to, to think about the things that you need to do and when you're building a platform, things like hardening the platform for failures or for security challenges or for denial of service, making sure the platform is reliable, making sure that, you know, when you've got problems, you've got a playbook to work, work your way out of those problems. But And then also um, when we do testing, continuous integration, continuous deployment, we need continuous testing. And actually, the, probably the key thing we learned from BT Sport going into um, the cloud core was all around building that test platform. And actually, through the COVID period, as we were rolling out our, our 5G standalone platform, probably the hardest part of that um, pivot to working from home um, was actually setting up those end-to-end -end test, um, test labs and test setups where... We found it really difficult to do that in a working in home environment and it, and it really delayed us quite a lot. So, and testing is crucial um, because it's your one way of knowing that when you press the button to, to start something, if the test works, you, um, you know that the, the platform is going to do what you expect. Um, if it doesn't, then you've got to figure out what went wrong and then fix it because you can't do that, you know, on demand or, or if you do, by the time you figure out you've got a problem, Lots of your customers know that you've got a problem. So you really need to get that testing right. 
And I think we the biggest thing we learned from, from our experience in BT Sport going into 5G was all around that testing and, and all around the, the DevOps capability that we needed to build. And then finally, um, from a, a, you know, BT Sport, we were working with the public cloud um, players quite a lot, less so with the mobile cloud core. We built our own BT Network Cloud platform. We had to learn a lot about some of the hardware interactions between some of the different vendors. Uh, that was really painful, actually. Um, Reza and the team did a great job of, of, of figuring that out. We got great support from Juniper, Intel, and Ericsson. Um, to really make that work, but we all we were doing the the infrastructure as well as the application, so we had to bring in a lot of new skills around how you really build a cloud platform at the infrastructure level with storage, with BIOS, with memory, with CPU, with platform design. Um, so we had to bring in a lot of extra skills that, and that was the one thing we didn't learn from BT Sport because we were we were much more reliant on the public cloud um, platforms for for BT Sport. What has this meant for the skills requirements within your team, and have the BT tech staff been effectively learning on the job? Yeah, some of them have, and <clears throat> and look in telco we've always learned on the job. That's nothing new for us. We've you know, if you think of all the iterations of telecommunications technology in the last 30 years since I've been involved in telco, uh, you know, we've gone from PDH to SDH to IP to ATM to DSL. I mean, frame really, I, I could count thousands of different technologies that we've used. We're geniuses at learning about those sort of technologies. We are the best at taking a technology and making it robust and reliable. No one else on the planet can do that except telcos. We are really great at that. We've got six nines and five nines down to a T. Um, so our teams had to learn. They had to learn about, you know, how do you build that cloud infrastructure? How do you manage it and operate and run it? How do you know that it's working? And actually when it isn't working, how do you find what's causing it not to work? Um, how do we make sure that the performance is there? Um, <clears throat> those were the sort of things that, that, that we had to learn and actually, to enable that learning, we have built a huge cloud, what we call the Cloud Builders Program at BT, again, working with, with Intel, um, to, who've helped us massively on that, to build a really great curriculum to learn how it is, what, to learn the things you need to know to build a strong infrastructure platform. And it's pretty much mandatory at BT um, to, to go through that if you're in network design now because it's so crucially important um <clears throat> it, you know if you don't know that if you don't understand what it takes then you, you know you can have all the networking skills in the world but you need to be able to baseline them in the infrastructure that you're using so building that that um, education program was crucially important as well and is now allowing a lot of our teams to to learn at their own pace and we've you know we've got a lab where they can trial things and break things and fix them so that they know how things really work which you know when i <clears throat> when i was uh, an engineer um working on building networks um back in the 90s if we broke the internet most people didn't didn't know so we're able to fix it quickly you can't really you can't do that today it's just impossible the network's in such demand so we give them a safe sand pit for them to play and to learn this these these technologies uh, in a way that where they can really, really understand them. Because quite often, the best way to learn is to do it. Um, and I'm really pleased about the outcome that we've got there. We've got a really strong platform with millions of customers on it now, and it's working really well. And what does this all mean for what BT can offer its customers, whether in the consumer or enterprise market? Yeah, I mean, I, I think um, I think what it means we can offer is, is just about anything. I think we're, we're ready to onboard lots of different um, capabilities and applications and solutions onto our own cloud platform, or we can dedicate a, a cloud platform for uh, our customers or, or or some of the content providers. Uh, we've got our own CDN that's leveraging uh, BT Network Cloud. We've got um, our, our whole authentication platform for broadband is now leveraging um, BT Network Cloud as well as the 5G network. We've got a long list of clients or what we call tenants that are going to move <clears throat> um, to BT Network Cloud. And, and that takes us into some of the new exciting services around 
private networks, expanding our amazing strength in virtual uh, private networking that we've been doing for 20 years, extending that into cellular, into private uh, mobile networks, into campuses to help businesses be more efficient. It can allow us to bring edge compute um, in, either into your premise or, or at the edge of our network and allow you to run your 3D design app in the cloud at a really great pace with great um, ex user experience. Um, and we could do all of this on our platform today without uh, much work. So it puts in a really strong place for, for, for effectively the unknown future of what 5G is going to bring over the next few years. Um, but a really great, strong compute foundation that's focused on our customers, focused on a great experience, and and crucially, built to leverage the network that we have here at BT. Net, our own network cloud can signal around the network. It can create paths over the network. It can up the quality. It can it can grab more bandwidth. It can extend a path to a new location. It can instantiate into new locations if on demand. Um, it's really flexible and moves where the customer is. So with that, I, you know, I'm excited about all the things I haven't thought about that we can do with this platform as much as many of the things we that we know we're going to do with it today. Neil, thanks so much for joining us today and sharing your thoughts. Thank you.